All right, if I sound or look a little different to you guys, mid-recording of this episode when I was recording it hours ago, episode 111, my power went out forever. Thank the Lord I only lost the intro, like my pre-intro to the actual episode, because both files were corrupted when I ended up turning my PC back on. So thank the Lord. So I am redoing that, just so you guys know. But if you guys <laughs> notice any different, just that's why. I'm just saying you guys. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 111 of Black Clover. This one's called The Eyes in the Mirror, which makes a lot more sense after knowing what Gauche and Marie's, their team tag team ability with their elf reincarnated powers and all that with Dorothy Unsworth sending half our squad to the dream world we got that to deal with with the shadow palace being up with the apostles of Sephira going crazy, you know, with this, that, and it's like it's, everything is just going crazy. And I'm very excited to find out what happens. I am super nervous as well. <laughs> like, I don't know how this arc's gonna end. I don't know what the next arc's gonna be. When are we gonna become the Wizard King? That's what I'm curious. When are we gonna have a funeral for Julius? Oh man, I, the resolution of this arc is gonna be insane. I cannot lie. I am here for it. I am ready for it. Let's jump into this. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description like always for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 111, The Eyes in the Mirror. Let's do this. So we got Sally, Charmy, Vanessa... Magna. Forever. There she is. Her eyes are crazy. I'm so glad we finally get to see him. Yeah, a dream world would be pretty damn strong. She can literally create anything. Like a black hole dimension eating monster. So I'm guessing that was Rouge based off the cat sound that I heard. Yup. Rouge is dope. I might have to name one of my next cats Rouge. <laughs> yeah. You think about it, Sally's probably in heaven right now. That is hilarious. And Charmy's over here just chefing away. Ooh. And I'm assuming because she has absolute control, she can, I was literally about to say she can make any attribute she wants. I wonder what her limits even are. Good point, Sally. True. True. We definitely got to get back. We need you out there. Vanessa's going to get a little chunky after this fight. How many times she's having to use Rouge and eat? <laughs> a endless swarm of water with blade fish. Sally's leading our, our directive. What's she, what's she what's she thinking right now? That water. Nice. If anyone would know that, it would be Sally. The smart experiment runner she is. <laughs> okay, look. Let's relax there. Valid point. <laughs> yep, that's a real fish, so she can really create these things. Ah, touche. She can't manipulate what you guys bring to the table. Wow, these are some good observations. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, also a good observation. Uh oh, is the dream world make you tired? Is that why Dorothy's always sleeping? 
I mean, it makes sense. In a dream world. Oh, I don't know about that. That's kind of... <laughs> that's quite the fine print. I hate the feeling of overwhelming tiredness, though. You, uh, you just want to go to bed so bad. No, without your glasses, yeah. What are you, Velma? Oh, so I was like, did you make him or did she? Wow. So you just said it out loud and she visualized it. And she made mad exits because all she can... Vi wow, it's really like in her control, but also out of her control. But then she can just de-visualize it. Oh no, she can't. Once she's created something, that's like a physical property. She can't like manipulate it afterwards, right? Or can she? I have no idea. I have no idea. Back with Yami and Jack going into the Shadow Palace. The early bird slashes the worm. They both barely missed? Who were they aiming at? Yeah. In a warp space, but they're going after the dice guy. Oh, and he's already OP because you remember what a two did. Going against Mimosa. Yeah, good luck with that one. Those guys are anything but quiet. See, we still have Nero out here. Still need to know what Nero's doing. We're not done yet. I feel you. Yeah. But he can use it on Asta too? He's taking him to him? Makes sense why he'd go after Asta first. That's a valid point. He can still feel the magic. But can you feel all of that? We got the cotton, we got the poison, we got the base blocks. Oh, we're racing the base up. Oh my god. And then by the time they break through it, he's had enough time to turn into black form. Yes, sir. That's the boy. Nani? Oh my god. He's shattering every mirror. And it all, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. It's a sneaky little play. Talk about a mirror. I need that mirror when I'm taking selfies. They made a little gummy fighter from Kingdom Hearts. Damn. The black bulls are so clutch. <laughs> Look at this little fucking gummy ship they made. <laughs> we need Henry's magic to be able to make this thing even work. He, he's the one with the base combination magic, you know. He's gonna surpass his limits too. We all need to do that at some point. Oh no. Oh no, that creature? Jesus. So fucked up. The warped. Oh, that's fucked up. Oos. Oh, 
a good way of putting it whoa we're not getting no henry sacrifice here he's gonna stay alive but i respect the resolve the drive damn i i gotta keep going man i really want to keep watching well, continuing off exactly where we left off last episode, we got a squad, we got Yami and Jack going into the Shadow Palace trying to be dealt with, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. They're going to be going crazy here in a second. We got Vanessa, Luck, Magna, Charmy, and Sally in the dream world. Shouts out Sally for the observations and the theorizing came in clutch in terms of formulating a strategy for getting out of there. Out of there. Shouts out to Dorothy. Crazy magic. I love the vision. I love the dreamlike essence that it has, the pink glamour, the glamour world as it's called. Um, the creatures that she was making in order to kill them, very unique and strong and weird and uh, uh, creepy. Um, but again, shouts out to Sally, shouts out everyone doing our part, Rouge, Charmy with the food. We got the Black Bulls and the and, and the boys and everyone out, outside going ham trying to turn gauche and Marie back to normal. It's not working so far. I'm curious how we're going to be able to do that. I'm just curious. See, that's the thing. There are certain shonen tropes that can be easily followed and you can somewhat guess where it's going to go and how a story is going to play out. But this, I really have no idea, which I really enjoy. I really enjoy not having a clue as to what's going to come next because it leaves it so open for interpretation, and I am very excited. So I say I'm going to hop into this next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, you want them right now, or you want to watch the full length, check out that Patreon. We are four episodes ahead. Links are in the description, like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.